Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Um, today's manicure is starting with all five fingers with a black polish. And the black I used for this was Milani High Speed Fast Dry, and it's called Black Swift. And that's only one coat, so it's nice and opaque. Um, but what we're gonna do is first, I'm gonna stamp using Bundle Monster Plate number 414. And this is from their 2013 set. And I'm going to stamp using Rimmel 60 Seconds Gray Matter. And we're going to use the um, fingerprint. And we're going to stamp that over the ring finger. Okay? So there that is in gray. It makes a really neat swirl, fingerprint, whatever you want to call it. Okay? So then next what we're going to do is I'm going to take a flaky polish, and this is one from Finger Paints. This one is called Motley. Um, since this one is not really sold in stores anymore, um, you could use any flaky that you have, or you could use a glitter polish. So whichever you have is fine. And I'm going to put some of the, mostly along the cuticle, or top or bottom, depending on how you look at it, your, of the nails. So I have to get up close here so you can kind of see. It gets these kind of flecks of color. But I am going to put it over my entire pinky. I'm not going to stamp on the pinky. We're just going to use that for a nice flaky accent. Okay, so now that that has had a minute to dry, um, I'm going to go ahead and stamp over that. Using the same plate, we're going to use the skyline um, detail here. And I'm going to stamp that using the same gray. Okay, and I'm going to place that over the middle finger and the pointer finger. Okay, so now I've got this neat skyline detail. And if you have short nails, you can always shift this down more towards the tip. So I'm going to have to do that on this nail so that it doesn't just take over. Okay, so you see how one's a little further up and one's a little further down? So, either way, whichever way you like it, okay? Then I'm going to clean up around the cuticles just a little bit using a cotton swab and nail polish remover. Okay, so here you have that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to finish this off using a matte top coat. So for this one, I'm going to be using Nail Nation 3000. Veludo matte top coat, um, but any matte top coat will do. This one is one of those that's matte but kind of somewhat satinish. I don't know how to explain it. And with matte top coats, you just want to brush gently. This one does not seem to smear stamping too much, so that's why I can go ahead and do that without putting any other top coats over it. And that's one of the reasons I like this one. Okay. And then we're going to give this a chance to dry, and I'll come back and show you the final look. There it is with the matte top coat over it, and that's the final look. And here's the thumb. One tip I wanted to give you as well. If you are stamping um, your skyline on your nails and you end up with a gap here at the tip of your nails, rather than trying to re-stamp it, try applying some color to the corner of a piece of cosmetic sponge and just dab it along the edges. That way um, you don't get overlap of the stamped image because sometimes if you overlap it, it, it becomes really obvious. But if you just sponge color on, you can control um, how light or dark that, that becomes. So that's just a little tip I would give you. But anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys like this one. And if you are not a fan of matte top coats, you can always do a shiny top coat and it looks just as cool. So that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.